welcome the lovely Malin Ackerman, everybody. Malin Ackerman. In Thank fact, you. may I say, are you really Swedish? I am really Swedish, Because yeah. I was going to say, do our vodka. Wow. <laughs> now, did someone write that to you in, a, in an email from in an Umeå? In an email or a tweety. I'm not yeah. quite sure. I saw that. I heard you say that. It was, right. it's, it, I was, got really excited. I was hoping you would say that because it's amazing with an accent like that. <laughs> really? It's sexy. Really? Oh, yeah. Get me to Sweden. <laughs> What part of Sweden are you from? Stockholm, the I've capital. I've been there. You have? I have. Did you like it? I did. I was off my ass in the cafe uh, like opera it. right there. Of the, the, you uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's a Swedish culture. I mean, like the Scottish. There's a lot of alcohol going around. Right. Liquid yeah. courage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but the women are aggressive. Yeah. Did you not experience that, or you did? <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, no, I do. No, I wasn't that, I wasn't that drunk. I was, in, I was in Sweden. I'm like, oh, pace yourself. Uh, no, I had a very nice time there. But it, it doesn't get dark. No, not in the summer, which is a pr problem kind of a great you... problem, yeah? depending on how you look at it. It's a good problem if you want to stay out all day and right. night and never want to sleep. But it is a problem if you want to sleep. Well, I was doing a lot of cocaine then, so it was perfect great. for me. Yeah, yeah. Sweden's spot for cocaine, yeah, yeah, definitely. No, I didn't find that at all, actually. It was no. terribly difficult to buy drugs It was. There. Yeah, okay. yeah, I haven't actually tried, so no, I don't no, know. Yeah. No, oh, no, you're wasting your time. Okay, you know, good. Get, get good yourself to over to Amsterdam. You're tripping over okay. it there. Yeah. I'll remember that for next no, time. No, you're yeah. all right. But you live here now in America. Huh? I too, yeah, for the past eight years. Really? Yeah. You're not? LA. Really? But, but I was raised in Canada, in Toronto. Ooh. If you're wondering where my lovely accent is from. I was going to say, did yeah. you learn uh, English in Canada? Yes, I learned how to say a boat and sorry and um, a. A? Yeah. yeah. Right. Now, Toronto, I've noticed, uh, when, you, when people live in Toronto, did you live there for a long time? Yeah, for about 22 years. <laughs> Swedish. Man. <laughs> you you. moisturize like crazy, <laughs> obviously. So, but I noticed that people that live in, in, in Toronto, they don't call it Toronto, they call it Toronto. Toronto, yeah. yeah. Or yeah. The well, knock that off, will you? Or knock the it off. Dot. You don't like it? No, I don't like it. Because I, I like Toronto, and I like saying Toronto. And when I'm in Toronto, <laughs> people say Toronto. I'm like, oh, you're just showing off. <laughs> you actually say it really nice. But you say it different than anyone, really. Toronto. <laughs> that I, is really bad. Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> But you say it really nice. Well, I like, Toronto, I, like I say Scottish it like a Scottish thing. person, yeah. not unlike the people who built Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So tell me about the film, The Romantics, then. Is everybody, all these girls walking around in their underwear? Because I'm in. The whole time. Yeah. yeah, the whole time. We even go skinny dipping at really? one point. Really? Yeah, yeah. This is so awesome. You should definitely go see I it. I will, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a little bit like uh, the big chill kind of feeling where a lot of friends get together and it's the night before a big wedding and... You know, there's some alcohol Antics. and secrets and love triangles and kissing mm. and kissing. partying and yeah. <laughs> you know what that is? Or do you want me to show you what that is? Or kissing, you say? Yeah. yeah. What, what, what form does this kissing take? Uh, it's with the, the lips. They yeah. lock together. And sometimes tongue gets Sometimes in, tongues? Sometimes tongues. No, I'm not familiar with this at all. I Right? Yeah, no, Scottish. Scottish. We Scottish. shake hands and hope for yeah. babies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope for a baby, right? Yes. <laughs> I always, uh, I always rather liked it in Sweden. Do you? Do your family still live there? Uh, they do, except for my sister, who's one of my sisters is here in your audience right now. I bet you I can tell who it is. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I came out right there and I went Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Looks yeah. just like Jeff. Peterson, right? Your Jeff Peterson? Your, your, your friend? My skeleton? Yeah, your skeleton. Yeah, is he not No, no, no it's Peterson. Jeff oh, Peterson. Oh, okay. yeah, I need to love know. me. No. <laughs> Peterson is... Uh, no, no, your sister is very, very beautiful. Jeff is a hideous crow. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, you kidding. Can that yeah. Peterson, is that a Swedish name? I don't know. It uh, is, yeah. Is it? Peterson. Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, isn't it? That's great. P Peterson. P <laughs> yeah, you're getting there. Is that a real language <laughs> or just tootsie fruits of people? It's like... <laughs> my husband calls it a Martian language. Mar it's very... Yeah, it's pretty he difficult. He doesn't believe that it's real. I mean, he's from Italy, so he's like, oh, my language. Tootsie fruits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. 
the, the best language in the world. So yeah, mine to, is like. You have to deal with Italians, though. If you're, if you're going to be married to Italian, you have to, you know, you have to put up with the fact that they're going to think that everything they do, Italian food is the best, Italian soccer is the best, Italian language is the best. Italian sausage. Italian, well, you know. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Quiet, Jeff Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> I like I've that. I've ruined Christmas again. No, no, no. <laughs> now, listen, you, uh, you're married to an Italian gentleman and you live in Los Angeles. I do, yes. Right, okay. Uh, um, and I, I just snickered when you said gentlemen, because uh, Italians are not that gentle. Oh, yes, no, they are, no, they are Italians. I've uh -huh. always uh, thought Italians were lovely. They are lovely. Yeah, Definitely. You, you have to say that or else you don't. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I, no, love, I love them. It was fantastic. Have you actually. been to Italy a lot? Many times. Oh, I, like I went it, to yeah. see his family many, many times. What in the part first... are they from? Naples. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you got to be careful. Yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> but they're great. They're yeah. so family-oriented. And the, and the best part was the first time I came in to meet his, his parents, I didn't speak any Italian. They don't speak any English. So, of course, you know, you learn that you just got to eat when you're in Italy and That's then they right. love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I walked in and his mom looked at me and she said, oh, so skinny. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this girl. And I like to eat. Right. And, and so luckily I ate enough that she was happy and took me to her, to her neighbors and knocked on the door and said, look, she's skinny, but she eats. She eats. It's like so a miracle. I was welcome in a minute. Yeah. yeah. It's all you got to do is just eat. Do you know what you just made me think of is uh, there's a place in Atlantic City called Carmine's. You ever been to Carmine's in Atlantic City? No, oh, man, I haven't. That's a great restaurant. Is it? <laughs> right? <laughs> It's Italian, Italian restaurant. I, I, I figured I met yeah. Carmine when I was there. Did you? I was really glad it was a good restaurant because you don't want to tell that guy that the restaurant <laughs> no, is. No, I was like, no, it, it was, but it was really good. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, the it. next time you're there, you should check it out. I will, definitely. Next time I'm in Atlantic, Atlantic City. City. Do yes. you go there a lot? I've never been, no. You're robbing yourself. <laughs> okay, I'll go. It's, I'll it's definitely go. It's the Stockholm go. of New Jersey. <laughs> We got, we got to go. We're going crazy. <laughs> Actually, over at the Price is Right, auditioning to become a hey. model. Just thought I'd give it a shot. Well, you're, you're obviously <laughs> implying the, you know, referring back to what happened on Tuesday when yes. the audience here was from the Price is Right. Yeah, I, I watched gonna... that show yeah, on Tuesday. You, yeah. It was gr a great show. I'd with knock John. it off. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Look at your ring. Yeah. Wow. Well, is I that some that kind years. of medieval armor? <laughs> Swedish Viking armor. I just I get nervous when I sit beside you because you are grabby. Yeah, I'm not. And you're wearing a sperm tie tonight, which is a little bit. It's fascinating. I it's mean, it's not a Friday sperm, night that's tie. It's Paisley. Oh, I see. Okay. In in Sweden we call that sperm, but that's cool. Well, it, well, we wanted. call sperm in America Paisley. Oh, great. Paisley. All right. Now I know what to tell my husband when we gotta get pregnant. Give me some Paisley. <laughs> CBS cares. Peterson. Uh, Peterson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. you're Swedish, and you think that Jeff is Swedish. He's not, but I like the way you say well, Peterson <laughs> like that. It's great. I actually went on Ancestry.com. Have you heard of that? Yeah. And we're distant cousins. I checked it out. His Jeff dad. Peterson. Yeah. So it's not Jeff Peterson. It's Jeff Peterson. Peterson. Yeah. Yeah. Distant, distant, distant cousins from father's mother's sister's brother. Um, and probably some... Sex party. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Sex party. Yeah, do you... Swedish. Are you... Uh, now, Sweden is, uh, it's not just, uh, drunks and smoked fish, is it? There's other things there. There's, um... Oh, you've got the girl with the dragon tattoo. That's Swedish. That we do have, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you read yeah. those books? Uh, no. But, uh, I watched the movies. Oh, right, yeah, yes. Yeah, no, yeah. I like the movies uh, a lot. Did yeah. you see them? Yes, all of them? yes. Yeah, not all of them. I've seen the first one and the second one, and I read the first book, and I was like, oh, this is great. And then I read the second book and I was like pretty good uh -huh. and then the third book I was like yeah you were over it. yeah 
don't yeah. know what it is. And I've talked to a lot of people the same way. Are you a voracious it, reader? Do you like crime novels or? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm not a voracious reader. I I like uh, I like novels like Paolo Coelho. I don't know if you ever heard of a Yes, Minute. yes, of Paolo, The Alchemist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, Alchemist, yeah. and he's got a ton of really great books. Right. Yeah. Um, no, I read The Alchemist. I haven't read any any of the other ones. It's quite uh, it's quite spiritual uh, stuff, isn't it? Yeah, that one is definitely. But right. then you read Eleven Minutes, and it's about a Brazilian girl who comes over um, to Europe and thinks she's going to become get work, and instead she becomes a prostitute. That's like me coming here. E exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you would really love it. You can yeah, no, then, you know, I, no, I you can, remember yeah. liking the book at the time. I read it a long, a long way back. Yeah, yeah. Did they ever make exactly. a movie of that they were going to? I don't think so, yeah. no. Oh, well, what's but, this movie about? Where's your eyebrows in this film? Uh, what uh, happened? Uh, I shaved them off. Oh, you shaved yeah, them off? Yeah, I did because I thought, I mean, she is actually a woman who has alopecia. Oh, right. Yeah, a friend is, of mine got that. Oh, really? Yeah, just everything fell out. All, this, all, this all of it. It's yeah, all yeah, yeah, his whole body. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It. What cause, it cause, but it's that's like great a, for certain things. I mean, it really is. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, all right. Yeah, no. but no, he's he's fine, but he, uh, I think it was uh, shock or something. Does that what it, it, it can be many things. It could be just, I mean, it doesn't have to be shock at all. It can just be, it could be hereditary. It could be, they don't really know why it happens. Right. But, um, but the alopecia universalis is where you lose all of your hair everywhere. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, um, yeah. and so I really went method. You did? And, you yeah, did? totally. <laughs> just shaved yeah. it all off. But yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> That's what my husband says. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna need your ring in a minute. <laughs> yeah, for Peterson over Yeah, Jeff Peterson will be right over here. Are you do you buy to Sweden much? I do. I go back uh, at least once a year, if not twice, and visit family over there. Right. And, or I'll say, you know... Do you kayak around the fjords? <clears throat> wow, that's very interesting how you perceive kayaking on grass. <laughs> Fjords are, are Fjords not, are grass? Yeah, they're not really water. They're not water? No. What other lies have but you been you telling us, you Swedish it. monster? And it's also Norway. But that's Norway? Cool. Norway they has have the fjords. fjords. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sweden has lakes. We have ladies, ladies. And drinks. Ladies drinks. Ladies, ladies drinks, yes. <laughs> what are you meaning? Well, the, in Sweden, you, well, you have sauna. I've been to Sweden. I went yeah. to uh, um, the one in the middle there, Stockholm. Stockholm, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is a great city, which is where I'm from. Right, it's a lovely place. Where we eat really rotten fish. Did you ever try the rotten fish? I tried some, uh, what is it called? Ludvig? Ludvig, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gesundheit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, uh, Lu, Lu, what's it again? Lutfisk. Lutfisk. Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of people in the Midwest are from uh, from that part of the world, or their yeah, ancestry Minnesota. is. Yeah, Minnesota. Yeah, and they eat a lot of the Lutfisk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is it? It smells for a long... It's really, it's just rotten fish. It's like way back in the day when we didn't have refrigerators. Yeah. Um, well, which don't they, say that in front of a Price is Right well, audience. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, they give them you away on Price is Right. mention a refrigerator and they start salivating. <laughs> I can get a surprise! I can get a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they don't, they don't, they didn't have them, so there were no refrigerators. Is that why the Vikings were so angry and grumpy? Because <laughs> they had to eat rotten fish? I think, I mean, that would make me pretty angry, yeah. wouldn't it? I mean, yeah, it, it doesn't yeah. smell good, and you have to kiss that, and Do you, it's nasty. Vikings, did, did Vikings kiss? I think so. <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah, yeah, they kind of mash lips together yeah. really hey, well. Hey, um, I played a Viking in a movie. You did not. In a, in a you know, in an animated movie. Okay. Because all the Vikings, the, uh, it was How to Train Your Dragon, and the Vikings were, uh, had Scottish accents. We did That's it because... That's great. Yeah. How did it work out? I think the Swedes were a bit upset, but everyone yeah. else was fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I have to. I, I, I haven't seen it yet, but oh, I will really? totally go oh, see it's, it. Oh, uh, it's on DVD, available for all the family. Great, fantastic. <laughs> or you could probably get it for free on The Price Is Right. No, no, oh, no. no, no, no. I, I don't know. They don't give away DVDs in The Price Is Right. No, they give away DVD players oh, okay. on The Price Is okay. Right. Well, do you watch game shows? DVD. Not much, no. But I do watch The Price Is Right, of course. Do you? Really? Yeah, no, I don't. You don't? No, I don't. Did you? Did you ever watch it? Yeah, I've seen it a few times. Did you watch it uh, pre or post Bob Barker? Uh, both. Oh, really? I've seen both. So, what's your favorite? Thin Drucary, Fat Drucary? <laughs> I like something to grab onto. Yeah, I like You're a little extra. Here. Yeah. You're welcome here. You're welcome here.
Yeah. Because, because I have to... You know, Drew's been a friend of mine for a long time, but I'm concerned about this consistent weight. Yeah, he's going to yeah, become, like, he's really He's healthy and, and looks well and everything else. Yeah, it's weird. It's not the Drew Carey I know, I tell you that. we got to slip him some burgers and some pizzas so that he no, gets there, back there's to There's no need schedule. to do that either. You know, you don't, I've seen him eat. You don't want to see that. Okay. All right, we'll let it be. Definitely. Do you have a... You, you're in very good shape. Do you exercise a lot? Do you um, uh, I have an Italian husband. <laughs> Is that a sex thing? Maybe. Maybe. Is, it, is it a sex thing? Stamina. Sta yeah. So, right. yeah. What's a coming and going, hey, baby? You're looking crazy good tonight. Hey, they're hey, fine. Hey, Tosi Yeah. <laughs> no, we, uh, uh, I, I do a lot of, of walking. We're, we're right by That's a That's the best exercise it's you can get. It's fantastic. We're Absolutely. In, we're in California. The sun shines pretty much every day. Yep. So you can just get out and, and go for a really great walk. This well, yeah, I, I walk <laughs> around this area here. This, totally, uh, yeah. That's a, that's a long walk. Yeah, it is. I mean, yeah, it's a long walk from there to that little light over there. Yeah, and then yeah. Back. What is that light? Where is that? I'm Actually, I think it's a kind of a, it's a flashlight held backstage cool. by an intern. Great. Actually. That's amazing. Backstage with your horse. Oh. You I saw like the horse. horse? Do you like the horse? I do. I love a good horse. Can you handle it? I don't know. Can you handle it? Maybe I can. <laughs> Please welcome Malin Ackerman, everybody. Bye. Wow! Look at you! Look just amazing! Look at the, 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 the colors and the, the <laughs> things and all. It's like wow. a feast for your eyes. Thank you so much. I've never been called that before. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I would remember that. I like your hair. Is that a Thank French you. pleat? Uh, perhaps. I don't. I didn't ask what it was called. I'm surprised that you know more about it than I do. I just made it up. Oh, okay. uh, that was really good. I no, appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. But you're a famous <laughs> actress. You go to the red carpet stuff. Do you have? To, do you have a? Do you have to like have a lot of dresses? How many dresses you got? Uh, I don't. Ha we. I get really lucky because we get to borrow this stuff. Does I have to give oh, it is back? How that how it works? Uh, yeah, that's how it works. Well, you go to so a I store. I don't actually get to. I don't actually get to to keep this lovely dress. Well, that's great for you, because women don't it like is. to wear it more than once anyway, right? Exactly, so just, exactly. So you just wear it, and you give it back, and they're like, uh, do you want to buy it? You're like, no, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it works out well, because then you've got a, cl a closet that extends beyond your closet. That's amazing. The only thing is, is though, now you re I really like your response in this dress. I might have to keep it. I might have to just might make it disappear. I, I, I lost it. Oops, I, I lost I could, it the Craig I Ferguson <laughs> I bet you is that, did. Is that little <laughs> studs up here? That's an easy access button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's, never I'm know. always happy when you make it to the show. It, it makes me. Oh, listen, before we go any further, can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you prefer fat Drew Carey or the new handsome, thin uh, Drew Carey? You know, I, I, I have to say, I like him a little fat around, a little, a little love handle. I have a theory about this. Yeah, yeah. Tell Not me. necessarily about Drew Carey, but but all uh, relationships of a heterosexual variety. Okay. I believe that uh, male heterosexuals are more attracted to slightly larger uh, females. I can remember. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you got any cookies back there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You want some tea? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> it's true, though. I have to tell you that every time I eat myself up a little bit, your husband my gets husband... a little bit frisky. Yeah, yeah that's right. He gets a little hands-on. Right. Which I love. It's right. great. You see, what happens is I think dress designers are like, no, you've got to be thin so that the clothes look like that. But you see, men who are not involved in dress design, they're not caring about the clothes staying on. <laughs> Exactly. You're like, baby, it's, you know, it's and if okay. it's too uncomfortable, take it off. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. But the shoes stay on. Is oh, that, that's isn't that very how good. It goes? Yeah. yeah. That's very that good. One. Come on. <laughs> yes. Yes. In fact, let's.
do our own little PSA for sexual relations across okay. the United States okay. for the heterosexual folks. Yes. Ladies? Gentlemen. You, uh, well, yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't know. Ladies. Ladies. The shoes stay on. The clothes come off. <laughs> CBS <Yeah>. That works. <laughs> That's nice. It's not the same when men keep their shoes on, though, is it? It's not not you know, really. Shoes Some, and socks but, and a hat. But, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you want them to keep the shoes on because the smell might ruin the mood. Ruin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Does your husband have smelly feet? No, not really. He's well, Italian. I, I just lied. He totally does. <laughs> Does he really? He really does, yeah. I thought because he's an Italian, his but, feet would smell like, you know, leather or, uh, you know, Leather pizza. or cologne. <laughs> <laughs> but he's nice enough that he puts his shoes outside on the balcony at night, and they're not in the room. My God, they're that bad? Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's a drummer, and he wears these plastic shoes, and he gets all sweaty. And Are we yeah. talking Crocs? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Because, you know, our allowed. friendship would be at an end right now. No, 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 no. Those are also, not allowed. an Italian man wearing Crocs. That's not going to happen. <laughs> it's still leather and, like, you know, the, the nice gym shoes and all that kind of stuff. But, but when you're sweating around, you know, right. it's, not a good, it's not a good mix. Does he ever drum in the house? Uh, on everything, yes. Really? Yes. Has he got one of them the little electronic practice kits? No, he says those are for, I don't know what I can say on TV. You but can say, those are for uh oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I've got one. <laughs> no, I do. I have one. You have one? I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, that's all right. Uh, that's uh, all right. I, will, I, will, I will send you a real one. No, no, no. I have a real one. I'm just, oh, okay. Well, then there you go. I'm not allowed to play it in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I think your husband is correct. Yeah. Do you watch game shows? Not much, no, but I have seen The Price is Right. Yeah, well, I think you'd have yeah. to, you know, I mean, you'd have to be, I mean, who's not seen The living, Price is Right? Living in a cave. If yeah, you, yeah, no, it's just crazy. How it's long has that been on the air? A long time, yeah. I think, before I was Is it on the air in Sweden? I actually don't know. We probably have, like, a Swedish Price is Right. Yeah. The, which is probably why I never watch it. Um, because when you go to Sweden, out, do you watch... Like, old fish do, on no. Price is Right. <laughs> no. When you go back to Sweden, do you give a uh, do you give it old fish? Do you, uh, old fish yes. do you watch uh, Do you watch the Swedish television? When you I go do back? sometimes watch the Swedish television. Who's your, who's your favorite Swedish television personality? <laughs> there is uh, these two guys who are called Philip and Fredrik. They've and been here. <laughs> they have. Yeah, I think they have. Weren't they the two I'm guys sure they from have. Sweden? They've... They were here. Yeah. Oh my God, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah, they helped us put some right? furniture together. They were awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were very, very nice. They actually were here, I think. Uh, I'm sure they were. They're, yeah. they're, they're actually, they've been back and forth in L.A. And yeah, they're yeah. super fun and, and good at putting furniture together. From yeah, they can so. do that. Yeah. They, they can Thank do that. God. What else do they have in Sweden you enjoy? They have the fish and the... Uh... Uh, they have the meatballs and they have the... Uh... Now, here's the thing. Your husband's Italian. Yes. So he knows a thing or two about meatballs, too. He does. We have very different meatballs. <laughs> does that make sense? <laughs> They I don't have know why it sounds <laughs> dirty, but it kind of <laughs> no, does. I know. You know what I mean? Well, they have big meatballs in Italy, and we have little meatballs. <laughs> it's just not coming out right. <laughs> you know what we should talk about in the movie? Is it good? Yes, that's, oh, that's, great, that's great. a good thing. It's, great, it's great. a very uh, we good We've got to take a commercial break, but we'll okay. be right back. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, we don't? Okay. No, no, no. Well, we um, kind of do, but I felt that I cut you off when you were talking no, about the movie. No, that's okay. Uh, I was movie good? Say it's good. It's really good. You should go see it. You should all go see it. It's fantastic. It's so much fun. It is such a uh, great cast. Uh, is not that, was that Paul Rudd? Paul Rudd. He's funny. Who's hilarious. He's very funny. He's been here. I'm sure he yeah, has. Yeah, he, he, he's not from Sweden. No, he's yeah. not. <laughs> Although he, he so doesn't know, know what a thing kind of, about meatballs. Yeah, I was uh, just going to say, I don't know what kind of meatballs. Like medium meatballs? No, he, he's more your Italian, you know. Oh, really? How do you know that? <laughs> I have a special camera that looks in the guest oh, dressing rooms. great. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. No, I don't. I do. <laughs> Feeling a little bit naked right now. We do now. have to take a Violated. commercial break. We'll be right back with Malin Ackerman. <laughs> right. right, but you like could, yeah, but you... <laughs> We're talking girl stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> we were as well. We were talking girls. I was like, no, but then if you hand the dress back, other people see the dress. They're like, oh, I'm going to wear that. <laughs> Listen, we're out of time. Okay. Okay, so uh, what do you fancy? Mouth organ, awkward pause, or would you like to go for the big cash prize? Do you still have a big cash prize? Oh, yeah. Giving yeah. it out to the oh, listen, I'm gonna lovely put, ladies? No, 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 no. I'm going to put CBS in the poor house by the time I'm finished. Okay, let's do it. 100, well, it's $50, is that it? Right? Uh, listen, that's dinner. <laughs> All right, you want to go for the big cash prize? Yes. What absolutely. time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's time for the big cash prize. Can I tell you two things? One, you guys were very slow in shouting Big Cash Prize, and two, you didn't applaud at the end of Big Cash Prize, which makes me think, that's why you didn't get to the Price is Right! <laughs> ah, don't do it now! So, here's how it works. Rob a bank? Well, it's kind of, it's, uh, don't touch the bag until no, you've earned it. Okay. I, uh... <laughs> This is uh, $50 in quarters. Yes. I'm only letting you touch it because of that dress. Uh, and also this. The, um, it's $50 in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it, like the burglars use. Um, now, there's two ways to win. Yes. You can either answer a question. Yes. Or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in the box. Okay. So you try and guess what's in the box. If you're right, Jeff will tell you. You win $50. If you're wrong, something awful will happen. <laughs> I think I'm going to guess what's in the box. Whoa. <laughs> uh, oh, don't. It's too late now. A day late and a dollar short. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, if you're going to guess what's in the box, here we go. I'm imagining a box. Can I tell you what's in it? I'd be grateful if you did. <laughs> but wait for a minute. Okay. You let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. Is it a... Wait, wait, wait. No, okay. Do you want to ask how, how big or small the box is? Oh, how big is the box? It's about the size of a bread box. A bread box? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay. Are you sure about that? Not entirely. Okay. <laughs> Could it maybe be a really big box? Sure, why not? Okay, great. Yeah. Whoa, it's, it's, this is a giant box. I haven't seen a box this big since... Okay. Then I know exactly what it is. What is it? It is a woman wearing nothing but high heel shoes. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Jeff, what is in my box? We would have accepted meatballs. <laughs> but the correct answer is a woman wearing nothing but high heel shoes. It's American dollars, Mallory, Mallory, Welcome to the show. Tonight we've got a very special program. <laughs> Our first guest is one of the world's great beauties and a huge movie star. Please welcome Madeline Ackerman, everybody. Madeline Ackerman. Oh, hello. 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 Uh, Hi. Please oh, take a seat. Thank you. Well, don't you look charming? Oh, why, thank you, uh, well, Prince Charles. I'm so happy to be well, here. Well, you no need to be so formal. You just call me His Royal Highness Lord of the Isles and Supreme Arbiter of the Jazz. <laughs> I'm just like any other talk show host, except if you fail to entertain me, I can have you beheaded. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I tried to say beheaded, but my teeth <laughs> are very difficult. No, that that's quite right. I understood, but but the thing is, my publicist said that you couldn't behead me. It's in my. Oh, wait! No, get back! I've got to say the thing. Who's that at the door? <laughs> Hey, hey, look, hey. Do you know who that was? That was my wife, Camilla. She's so pretty. She's very pretty, yeah. isn't she? Lovely. Now, you... <laughs> You're right. I didn't know they were allowed to grow beards. Oh, I, I wasn't aware either, but it's very handsome. Are you hairy downstairs? <laughs> In the servants' quarters. 
<laughs> anyway, your new film, Wanderlust, yes. opens today. Now, it's about a bunch of people who live and work in a commune. Yes. I've, never, I've never heard of such a thing. You've never heard of a commune? No, work. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, sounds dreadful. Have you ever done it? Oh, yeah, I, yes. Uh, I actually do it pretty much every day. And you work? Is yeah. it contagious? <laughs> Is there a cure for this work? No, I, I see. I don't need a cure. I mean, it really is a a dream job. But maybe that's not really accurate because if it was a dream, then I would be sleeping. And if I was sleeping, I'd probably be dreaming about you know gnomes walking on clouds, and it'd be really nice. <laughs> you know, you Swedes are a bit like the IKEA furniture. You look great, but there's always a few pieces missing. The Horn of Completion. <laughs> I just saw myself in the monitor. He <laughs> looks so handsome. Thanks very much. Lovely and supportive woman. <laughs> anyway, it's time for my favorite segment of the show. <laughs> oh, meow. Welcome. Welcome back, everybody. I'm John Merrill Cordaisian. I'm John Merrill Cordaisian. See how I burn them. I'm the great Kardashian. <laughs> My next guest is a very, very beautiful actress. She stars in Children's Hospital, which airs on the Adult Swim. <laughs> <laughs> she is adorable, though. The lovely Malin Ackerman. Malin Ackerman. You look very well. Thank you. You look very, <laughs> very fit and put together. And are you going out somewhere after this? Because you look great. I don't know. I was going to ask Johnny Memphis out on a date. Uh, Johnny Memphis. Uh, <laughs> do you think that's a great name? I think it's a great name. Yeah, I mean, Malin, you I sound like just... a bluegrass singer. You know what I mean? Like a really? Johnny well, Memphis, yeah, like Johnny Cash, like a little. Oh no! I was thinking more Johnny Memphis, kind of like a leather wearing. Is that leather? You want to switch? Them? It is. You want to touch it? I do. I do. I want to touch it very badly. <laughs> Is that a leather bow then? On that? Yeah, it is. A bow made of leather? Yeah, a bow, a bow made of leather. That's fantastic. I know, it's yeah. amazing. It's very, you look it very like, confused you... right now how that is possible. I, I'm not confused. You want to figure just, it out? Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I want to just, okay. I just want to pull it. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Is it, is it comfortable to it? Does it feel um, a bit... Not really. Not really. Um, <laughs> no, but it, but it, I feel like it looks nice. Oh, the right yes, it does. You look here. great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You look really smashing, too. Thanks. I'm wearing Spanx. Oh, that's, what, that's what's different. No, no, yeah. I, I, th I'm wearing a vest. And, I like and the three piece. Well, so do I, because it's... this is like Spanx for men. Spanx for men? Yeah, yeah, oh, kind is of. Is that it's, what it is? Well, you know, it's a vest that kind of yeah. like holds it all in. So one is popped at the bottom. Yeah, well, you have to do that because oh, gotcha. I, I'm one of the larger gentlemen. Oh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to ask, but Scottish, thanks for know. sharing. No, yeah. no. I just thought you, you, you'd you probably want to know. Yeah, definitely. How's things going with you then? The last time you were here, we were doing a sketch. I know. That was really great. You looked very... I was, I was, Interesting I was, as I was the playing Prince, Prince Charles. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. It was, uh, that was really me. That wasn't really Prince Charles. No, oh, it wasn't? No, no. Oh, thank you for clarifying. I didn't re realize that because, you know, your teeth were falling out the whole time. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do, yeah. You were doing this sketch and, and well, your, it's your very gums difficult, were... Yeah, yeah. yeah was... How are your teeth? Are your teeth nice? Wow. <laughs> I cleaned them this morning. 
I clean mine a couple of times every week. That's great. <laughs> It's very hard. It's, to get, it is. <laughs> it's very hard to get into the American thing of clean, clean, clean. Yeah, flawed. I know. See, when you go to the dentist, when you go to the hygienist, do you say, do you lie about how much you floss? Oh, all the time. Yes, but, they, but they know yeah. it from the tartar buildup. They well, know that they, you're lying. No, because sometimes I say, oh, I've been flossing all the time, and they say, oh yes, I can tell, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> that has never happened. I feel like they pull out that metal hook and they start scratching until you bleed just because they that's, know that you're lying. But that's not the worst thing. The worst thing is the, the super splashy water pen. Have you ever had that? No, what is that? Well, it's a very splashy <laughs> pen thing. It's it to break like down tartar. Wild. No, it is a little bit like wet and wild, except not as much fun. Okay. It's this pen and it shoots water at very high pressure and they put it in your mouth and they and it goes No, I'll have to ask for that next No, time. don't ask for it. It's very, very painful indeed. But I might like a little pain. Whoa, whoa. A, do not judge the lady in the leather dress. <laughs> and two, <laughs> shut up. It's <laughs> my guess. Do you like a little? Um, uh, you like a little pain? Do you? You know, like a little, uh, little bit of hair pulling? Uh, maybe every just now and then. Bit. Just, a, just a touch. Just a little bit of. Oh, hey, just a yeah, touch, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why'd you cut yours off? What my my hair? Yeah. Um, you just got to grow the mullet, and that way there's a really good fistful. That's all know? right. I, I, get, I get plenty to hold on to. I don't need that. Okay. Hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. That's why I had to undo that button right there. Have you ever been to Memphis? I've never been to Memphis. You should go. You should go to Graceland. Were you an Elvis fan? Uh, I, I can't say I was, but my mother was. Well, yeah. It was so, a you know, it was one man. of those that, but he's fantastic. I'm a Johnny Cash fan, oh, for I sure. Oh, I loved Johnny Cash. He was amazing. Oh, my God. He's Beautiful. fantastic. Yeah. Great movie, too. The, the Walk the Line. Did you see that? Yeah, it's all right. You weren't crazy about yeah. it. <laughs> I was a Johnny Cash fan, so anybody impersonating Johnny Cash, I'm like, yeah. Not as great. Well, yeah, that's Johnny I Cash. I like, the, I like the kicking and the gouging and the mud and the blood and the beer and all that, isn't it? <laughs> then if someone else is doing it, I'm like, oh, you're just an actor doing it. That's what they, that's what we do. Well, that's what you do. Though. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I also hear you're a fan of astronauts. I do like a bit of astronaut. Yeah. Why, why do you say that? I don't know. I just, I heard it somewhere and I wanted to be an astronaut. When so I did I. Yeah. You'd Can be a I great tell you something? Yes. Okay, so I'm so obsessed with space that I decided the first year I was with my husband that for Valentine's Day, I was going to do something really special for him. Oh, yeah. And I was away working. <laughs> Not that kind of special. Not that kind of special? <laughs> I was in a different country at the time, all right? Uh, you know, maybe we may make a little movie for him or something. <laughs> I don't know. All right, all right. This is before Skype. Okay. Um, so anyway, so I decided to do something really great. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, my God, I'm going to buy him a star. Which, have you ever seen that? You can buy people stars. Yeah, that's right. So anyway, so I call him on Valentine's Day. I'm like, did you get my present? He goes, yes. And I was like, I I got you a star. Like, your name is on, like, a piece of gas in the sky, in the universe. And he's like, yes, uh, very nice. Uh, he's Italian. That's an Italian accent, if you can. He's uh, nice. He's it's nice to get a star with the big gas in the and sky. It's, like, yeah. it's nice. I just spent $70 buying you a star. Whoa, hey, that's an expensive star, lady. And you calling it nice? Yeah. No sex for you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Ever in nine years. You feel really? <laughs> no, no, he ain't Italian then. <laughs> uh, I think you're kidding me. Well, you know, I uh, I think sometimes though the, the the idea of buying a star, you know, whilst adorable, you know, maybe the people that live on the star will be like, hey, it's not. What's your husband's name? Roberto. Uh, uh, we don't really live on Roberto. <laughs> like, if, like if aliens came to this planet and go, oh, look, we're on Nah at last. <laughs> it named after Nah, who was a comedian on Zarg many years ago. You go, no, no, this is Earth. No, it's Nah. I just don't know if you can live on a star, but that's, that's cool. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 you small, small people. <laughs> Not if you're a carbon-based life form that we know, but okay. perhaps if you are a different type of life form that right. enjoys giant balls of gas around you. <laughs> it's not really just gas anyway, it's miasma, isn't it? Sure. I didn't know that people from places that have miasma can speak. That's they can, they, they speak can. like this. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, we're out of time. What do you fancy? You want a mouth organ, awkward pause, uh, big cash prize, or do you want to guess what Her Majesty the Queen is thinking? Let's do the mouth organ. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that right. one, okay, yeah, yeah. Right. okay, there okay. it is. Uh, you know okay. how to do it. Take it out, suck or blow, whatever you fancy. And uh, <laughs> can you can you do this? Because if you can do it, you can win the gold mouth organ, and that's an amazing thing. I mean, very few people have won that. I don't know. You you'll have to tell me if you think I can do it. Okay. Okay. I'm very. Are we doing a, a duet right now? Well, Are you gonna help me out a little I'll bit? help you out. Yeah. Okay. Right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, Isn't that very, you, very good the actor vibrato. girl. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, you you got to be able to play. Okay. Yeah, go. On. You got a bit of, a bit of Johnny Memphis in there. I got a. She's a very beautiful actress. She's got a CBGB in theatres now and Trophy Wife, which is Tuesdays on the ABC network. Take a look at this. <laughs> Malin Ackerman, everybody, Malin Ackerman. Yeah. Young lady, I have to say, Mal, you look very nice this evening. Thank you, Craig. That's a, is that a sheath? Uh, that's a, a sheath. It's a, it's a leather sheath. It's a leather it's sheath. A that sounds very, very rude. Well, you brought it up. Well, I'm just saying, it, it, it sounds so kind of dirty. Well, let me bring down the fantasy for a second, because I've got massive spanks under this baby. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, I'm still, like, yeah. right there with a, hmm, <laughs> leather sheath with spanks underneath. It does sound kind of dirty, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm amazed you can walk. Oh, i got a lot of practice with 30 sheaths. What? <laughs> I like your shoes too. Thank you. Yeah, it's all working Wings out. On them. Yeah, yeah, you look very fun. well. Thank very you. kind of. I mean, you. Oh, when did you have your baby? It wasn't that long ago. Six months ago. Oh wow! Good year. for you. Yeah, thank you. It's really yeah. great. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty great. I, uh, I have someone who, someone who wants to make out with me every single day. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's never been a problem for you. Don't no, pretend. Uh, you know, me. ten years in a marriage. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Everyone else. This audience is every a day? bit okay. scared. Yeah, right. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Something happened during the. I made them call me Heisenberg, and they've been afraid oh. ever since. Do you like that show? Oh. Everybody loves that show. Oh my god. I know. I haven't. Sorry. I haven't seen the last eight it, episodes. I haven't seen the last three. Okay. All right. Okay. So. So we can't talk about that. Let's so let's talk about your show that you did. Okay, now. let's. Yeah. The uh, uh, that, that looks good. It's uh yeah I mean. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it looks great. But you know, it's a great show. I mean, you know, you got you got you got you got an Oscar winner, you got an Emmy winner, you got a Swedish Canadian. There person. you go. I mean, what yeah. What else do you want? What Swedish. Do you want? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> Swedish Canadian, that's right, I forgot about that. You were yeah. raised by uh, Canadians as one of their own. Yeah, just, yeah. just thrown in there. Yeah, they Canadians were just like, and they, what part of Canada was it again? Toronto. Oh, yes, Toronto. Yeah, yeah that's, T-dot is yeah. what we like to call it. And also, if you're from Toronto, you don't say Toronto, you say Toronto. 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 Yeah, yeah. Make you sound like you're an international <laughs> jet setter. <laughs> yeah, I've been to Toronto yeah. and had some <laughs> bacon. Oh. <laughs> Some yes, Canadian bacon. Yeah. yeah, and some late night Chinese food. Yeah, they do have yeah. that there as well. Yeah, I like Toronto yeah. actually. It's good, nice. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. We I was... should go there together and watch the last episodes of Breaking Bad. Yeah, all right. Um, it's a date. I'm in. Just to stir You're going to wear your sheath? <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> and Mustangs. What's the film CB? Is the, the CBGB film about CBGBs? It is. That's. I'd that's... like to see it. I was in CBGBs at that point. Well, not quite at that point, a little bit after. You don't quite remember that moment, do you? Well, I, I was in CBGs, CBGBs a lot. I don't remember a lot of times I was in it, though. I was in yeah, it more times than I remember. Don't. <laughs> it was It was stinking, it was dirty, dirty yeah. place, yeah. They, I, I never went, unfortunately. I would. I wish I would have gone. Oh, it was just a dirty old pub. Yeah, well, they, yeah. they actually 
brought in they, the one piece that they decided to the, the one authentic piece they decided to bring to set was the toilet from CBGB. I've I've Which, been oh there. God, I can I can smell you. I can I've been there. No, not for toilet, toilet. For call and say my name. You know. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay. That's Good. interesting. Yeah. The, but the actual to this toilet yeah. stall. The actual toilet. I mean, that really? was yeah, that and the phone booth and then the bar, which was uh, it was it, which was great, I guess. Uh, who do you, you who do you play in this I movie? I play Blondie. D Debbie Harry. You play yeah, Debbie Harry. Yeah. That's interesting. She's kind of a, an amazing, uh, amazing yeah. person to to to, to play. Yeah. And then I got to get on stage with um, uh, Taylor Hawkins, the drummer from Foo Fighters, who plays Iggy Pop. Um, wow. And it was a nice sort of moment to be with a half naked Taylor Hawkins on stage. Yeah. Same lady. Have you ever have you ever seen yeah. Eggy live? I haven't. You gotta see Eggy live. It's okay. crazy. That that little bastard is as crazy as oh, he ever he's was. He's still going. I mean he's, that those he muscles. He is ripped. I don't know what it is. It's, it's like he's been on some weird super drug for about forty years. It's called cocaine. Yeah it's cocaine yeah. I think it is. No. No, I don't think so. I think he's clean. Yeah, I, I think, think he's is been too, clean actually. for a yeah. long time. He's yeah. just you see, I saw him in Long Beach once. I was like, oh my God. It's insane. And right? he was about 75 then, you know. <laughs> That's wow, a rock star. Are you good. into that kind of music? Uh, you know, not really punk. I like, I like the, I like rock and roll for sure I'm what kind of like rock and roll are we talking Zeppelin, about Zeppelin, ACDC, Metallica yeah well, that's uh, yeah know. that's a very different <laughs> genre you're talking about there I like this genre you like the don't you <laughs> yeah a little <laughs> yeah <laughs> Did you ever listen to Rush? They're a Canadian band. Aren't I, they? I did, yeah. Did you really? Yeah, they weren't my favorite. No, but... mine neither. No. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. You yeah. Know, got it. You got Been to try. Sweden recently? Um, have I been to Sweden recently? Mm -hmm. I was there when I was four months pregnant. That was the oh, last really? time I was there. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been to Sweden recently? Not recently, no. I think it's about time I went back to Sweden. Yeah, I think I think you should. Yeah. I think I, I should take you out in Sweden and show you what it's all about. Oh, I know what it's all about in Sweden. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should take you out in Sweden okay. and show you what it's all about. Okay. Yeah, what part like of Sweden are you from again? Stockholm. Oh, yeah, the Cafe Opera. We talked about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, did. That's a yeah. nice place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It's a real place, man. I'm not advertising it, it, anything. It's a real it is place. a real place. It's just that it feels like a real inside kind of thing. Here, people are like, "Oh, cafe opera." Nobody knows what we're saying except for the people that are sitting in Sweden right now watching this. I don't think they're watching this show in Sweden. Right I don't know. They're, they're too busy having uh, Swedish things. Fish. Fish. Swedish yeah. fish. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do you still yeah. eat all that? <laughs> no. No. I don't. Don't blame you. Yeah, we just eat. I mean, I mean in Sweden, they're just called fish. So. Yeah. In Sweden. So do you I ski? I do ski. Yeah, yeah. I imagine you'd probably ski in a kind of tight little outfit. <laughs> well, like like this. I just go like this. You wear that ski? I do. I just That's, my See, on. in my mind, you do, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Yeah. It's great. And your skis have heels as well. Yes, they do. Yeah, I They're love that. They're made by Manolo Blahnik, and they've got the red on the bottom. I love that. Yeah. That's Christian Labouton, by the way. I'm oh, sorry we can't oh, call you. Oh, you're so right. Mm -mm -mm. How do you know this stuff? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I met Christian Labouton in Paris. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Wow. Did he you gave my wife a pair of shoes. Oh, she must have been very happy. <laughs> yes, she was. <laughs> Until she wore them and couldn't walk anymore. Well, no, they, she can walk in them. She oh, can, good. like, get to the end of the room. Then. Yeah. <laughs> the end of the room, yeah. They're very, yeah. They, I mean, they're real kind of... What are these, then? Well, they're, I, I don't know, but I... They're but fancy, I though. I like them. I feel like they should stay on. Oh, yeah, I like that. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean. Until I get home. Stay on this show. Stay on the show. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What were you thinking? Oh, come oh, on. Greg. Come on, get your mind out of the gutter. I've got a son. Yeah, me too. I've got two. I've got two sons. That's right, you yeah, do. I know. And I Milo just was one of the names that we were maybe going to name our son. Well, you can't do that. My oldest boy is called Milo. It's already taken. Yeah, I know. Well, that's, that's why we didn't do it. Cause what would you name your son? Sebastian. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, I think so. Too. That's a song by Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel. Did you ever hear that that's song? That's nice. I had no idea. No. You don't yeah, know what I'm talking about? No. It sounds like you just spoke Japanese. English rock band in the, of the 1970s, that's, Cockney Rebel. They were good. That's great. Mm -hmm. I was born in the end of the 70s, so I just didn't, didn't okay. quite get on that train. <laughs> Well, it doesn't seem to stop you with Led Zeppelin, no, did it? I'm just saying. No, I just, I just put my foot in my mouth. No, it's um, <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. Oh, okay. 
No, I mean, we genuinely are. Oh, okay. But you can keep your shoes on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you want to uh, ding the bell or blow the mouth organ or uh, smoke the pipe or say my name? What do you want to do? Oh, my God. Uh, can we do all at once? Or what? Yeah, yeah, we can. <laughs> None at all. Ding a bell. What happens Let's ding we, the bell. Okay, one we ding, ding and we're German. Eins, zwei, drei. Still German. Ich liebe dich. Three dings. Italian Bill Clinton. No, Dracula. I want to eat your blood. Eat your blood? <laughs> and that's enough for now. Bella Next guest is a beautiful actress. You can see her in Trophy Wife, which airs on Tuesdays on ABC. Take a look at this. Oh, can we just talk about the gym teacher for a second? I mean, come on. How is that guy a ch Ballin Ackerman, everybody. Ballin Sensational, may I say? I Thank like, you. I really like your dress. It, it looks like it's going to be see-through, and then oh. <laughs> That's for later. The pe no, I mean, not yes. for, for somebody. <laughs> wow, I was going to offer you free candy, but I don't think I have to. <laughs> it's that easy. Uh, no, come no, on. No, no. Have I talked to you about this before? About what? Oh, I don't know. Have we? No, this is know. a little a little thing actually for my son, Sebastian Zincone. Really? Yeah. And you've got the, 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 is that your first one? Uh, no, it's not. It's oh. my third. Where are your others? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> yes, I would. That's why I asked you the question. Uh, they're actually no. It's not the tramp stamp. No, you don't. Nope, don't I'm have the tramp stamp. stamp. Are you really? Yeah, what are you gonna maybe. get? Uh, I don't know. I thought I would get a fox hunt tableau. <laughs> Where the, 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 the hounds are riding, chasing the fox, and the fox's tail disappears in my bumby. Wow. And what does the fox say? <laughs> Was that guy Swedish? Was that Swedish? Norwegian. Norwegian. They're a little crazier in Norway. Yeah, they've got oil. Yeah. So they're like That's Scandinavians, great. but a little bit Texan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a little richer. Yeah. yeah. When I was in Sweden, they were pretty rich there. Didn't yeah, they? they pretend to be, definitely. They wear the right clothes that says, I'm rich. And then they, you know, it's like the people who buy really nice cars here and then they live in like a. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. They're, on that's, uh, well, do you, a have a really, do you have a really nice car? Do I? Yeah. I have a nice car. Yeah, I'm you. proud well of it. Done. It's my first real car. I is used it, to drive it? secondhand cars, maybe third hand. Are they even called secondhand cars or third hand? No, they're called used know. cars. Used cars, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You, you probably got one of them hybrids, haven't you? I did, yeah, yep. Yeah. Now that I have a kid, you feel like you owe you the You owe the planet a little yeah, bit? Yeah, you, you should have been here last planet. night. Morgan Freeman was going on and on. <laughs> on and on. Save the planet, Craig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Horrible, How right? did he say it, Jeff? He said, save the planet, Craig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jeff. Hey, how you doing, baby? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm going to go punch my genitals after this. <laughs> what did he say? He's going to punch his what? Punch his genitals. <laughs> it's a long story. Okay. Well, you've got a young boy. I don't know. I, do, I mean, yeah. uh, it, it's. Uh, I'm certainly not. But your your boy's very him. young. He's only one or something. He's only he? one. Yeah. yeah. Is he walking one. yet? He's he. Yeah. He's taking his first steps. Oh, congratulations! It's That's so a, much fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's Thank so much you. fun now. But then they don't go back to sitting down. <laughs> no. I've noticed that every Yeah, once time. they're walking, that's it. They walk all the time yeah. now. He starts to get really angry with me if I don't hold his because he needs to hold my hand still to walk. Right. And so when I don't do it, he sits and screams and starts flailing his arms like a mad person. It's actually really funny. And yeah. It's a, well, what you want to do is get a video of that and put it on YouTube. Yeah. 
No. Do you ever? No, I know okay, I don't yeah. do that anyway. You know, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to him. He can do it to himself. Yeah, my uh, my kids would get mad at me if I did that. You gotta you be think? careful. Yeah. yeah you know. <laughs> and your kids are a little older too, so they probably. Yeah. Really well, care. my youngest boy is three, and my oldest boy is uh, is gonna be 13 pretty soon. Yeah, that's a tough age. I mean, like as in. Yeah. You get really yeah. You know, I gotta be careful. In fact, I'm feeling a little nervous even bringing it up. <laughs> Where were you as a teenager? Teenage girls can be very tough. Were you, because you're very beautiful, uh, and also you, you were, that, that's usually they're the worst kind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I uh, am, I was not the worst kind. I, what were you, what are you? I, I was, I was, I, 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 I am still, still a dork, which is why I do comedy. Um, but I was definitely that girl. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, wait, I'm not No, no, I, <laughs> I do comedy. Are you implying that I am also a dork? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Okay, carry on. So you're, uh, you, you, you do comedy. I, I, yes, but as a, as a young girl, you know, I didn't have much boobs I still don't and so the guys would never look at me I so I was one of the guys who would look at the other girls with the boobs and go yeah check that one out you know and, and had the braces and I just looked like a little bone rack with no Lincoln Berry. and nobody was interested so you excuse know excuse me hold oh, yeah. on a second <laughs> she's Swedish man <laughs> Swedish grew up in Canada she doesn't know our ways <laughs> I don't know do you, you ever go back to our Canada ways. Uh, I do go back every I was there night. recently. Where, where did you go? Nova Scotia. Oh, how was that? Just like regular Scotia. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what part are you? You're from like around from Niagara. Toronto. Oh, Toronto. Yeah. I was in Toronto as well. That's a, oh, oh yeah. that's a Toronto in here? Hey, hey, if you were truly Canadian, you wouldn't have drawn attention to yourself. <laughs> It's very true. Yeah. <laughs> Toronto, I love Toronto. It's a great oh, city. Yes. It's like a little, everyone always says it's sort of like a little New York, but a little nicer. You know what's like New York? Shanghai. <laughs> really? Apparently. Great. That's what okay. they say. Uh, it's like a cross between Toronto, <laughs> New York, and Beijing. Okay. Have you ever been to China? Uh, I haven't. I've Let's never go. Been. Okay, now? Well, I'm just thinking, you know, I haven't taken the show on the road for a while. We should go to China. I'll be, I'll, I'll be your co-host. No offense. You can come too. I'll do, I'll do whatever you want me to, baby. Great. Wow. Yeah, so will I, like I actually. Style. You could be one of the guys. Great. Yeah, it'd be uh, I'm me. I'm used to that. Yeah, well, I, don't, I don't know what guys you were rolling with, but uh, all right. I'll introduce you one day. You'll understand. Oh, I no, see. No, no, they weren't gay. <laughs> Oh, I see. now you got it. No, I'm completely lost now. <laughs> so am I. Yeah, well, never mind. We're out of time anyway. Oh, really? You, yeah, I know. Do you want so some therapy? Sure. Uh, sh yeah. Or a foot massage. Oh, foot. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I because I'm really questioning it, massage. I think I need therapy. What a foot massage. I don't know. Would that be weird? Would your wife care? Yes, a lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So let's do therapy instead. I yeah, I know, I know you should bring it up. It, it would yeah. probably go, it would be a world of pain. <laughs> yeah. And then you would need therapy. Yeah, no, therapy. I, oh, I go to therapy, I've decided. Great. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should go to therapy. Let's get a bit of therapy out of the way then. So oh, uh, tell me why you hate ca Canada then. I never said I did. Well, you never said you did, but you implied it. When did I imply that? Earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier in my life? Maybe I picked it up wrong. Yeah, I think you did. I did. Yeah. You're, very, you're quite hostile. Well, you're not a very good therapist. I'm a terrible therapist. That's why I've got a pipe. <laughs> to throw you off the scent. <laughs> Great. Well, what are you smoking in that pipe? <laughs> Nothing, apparently. Great. That's, that's the problem. I think I've got an oral fixation. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Malin Ackerman, everybody. Like, mm, 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 mm. I mean, well, mm. 
Ding! I'm giving you the whole wiggle finger. I like the wiggle finger. <laughs> oh, yeah. The lady I, in red action. The know? lady in red. Lady. Oh, I can't sing it, can I? I wanted Try to sing it. Oh, you can't. No, oh, I can't because we can't oh. afford it. I would have to sing uh, a version of Lady in Red that sounded a little bit like it, but not enough like it okay. so that we didn't have to pay for it. For example, Do it. Lady in Red, 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 Ready, Red, I'm ready for you. Know, you. We're good, we're good. We're good. Thank you. It's not as romantic. You do look it's great, though. I like this. Is this like a this little. Oh, that? I thought you were talking about the microphone. No, no, I, your, the yeah. microphone I can take uh, a leave. This but is this... a little sneak and peek. Yeah. That I. Never mind. I was going to say something. It doesn't matter. So, anyway. Okay, no good. <laughs> I was just checking. You've uh, you've done something with your hair. Yeah, I chopped it's, it off. Yeah, it's so yeah. long. It looks good. Thank you. You love it. Such a beautiful face. Oh, well, thank and we can you. see it because before we could see it too. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> That's a good observation. Yeah, yeah. How are things with you? Are you all right? Like, I'm great. Yeah. yeah. I'm. I have a. Uh, your earrings are very nice. I'm thank just, you very yeah. much. Yeah. You know, I always try for you. Well, I always, why I always like... try for you too. <laughs> <laughs> No, things are good, you know. I'm actually, uh, I flew in from Vegas this morning. Ooh, I've been in that Vegas. that must be fun. You uh, love being in Vegas, don't you? You know, a night is, is great. Oh, I've I can't even do a night. Three, like, three weeks. Three weeks? Three weeks. Um, I have a gambling problem, <laughs> and it's not helping. Okay. Uh, do you really have a gambling problem? Because no, I've got a pipe. <laughs> uh, we could do a bit of therapy. Yes. Um, so yeah. why do you want to lose all your money? I, d I really don't. I want to win more money. No, I think...
addictive gamblers want to lose their money so that they can hate themselves a little more. You think a little more? You think I hate myself already? I was a guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you're an addictive gambler, what you're like, you're doing it because it makes you feel great. Yeah, because I don't want my son to go to college, basically. So his college. Well, if you don't want your son to I go to college. Because he knows, right? Well, you don't want your son to go to college. No, why would I? Keeps him out of the late night talk show circuit, if you know what I'm saying. No, Did I'm you go to joking. college? I actually don't have a, a gambling No, problem. I know you don't. Okay, uh, okay good. I'm, and I'm not making light of gambling problems, let me just say that. No, no. Um, Why, do you have a gambling problem? No, but I drank addictively for 15 years. Oh, does that help? Good, yes, that does help. And took cocaine. Oh, fantastic. Acid, heroin. Oh, wow. Um, not much heroin. Oh, good, okay. That was a little intense. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. a heavy one. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, stick to the cocaine. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. weaned myself with, <laughs> off the heroin with the cocaine. Fent oh, it's wow. an unconventional detox, but it works yeah. for me. Well, listen, if it worked for you, then... Uh, so, you, did you go to college? That's what I wanted to ask. I did, I did a year of university in Toronto. Uh, to become a psychologist. So I should really did have the pipe. Did they give you a pipe or did no, you not get didn't. that far? I guess when you graduate, you get a pipe. Yeah, you get yeah. The, the... So you graduated psychology. In my mind, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that yeah. great? There's a lot of things that can happen in our minds that we think it's are true. It's almost like you do know about psychology. Yeah. What, what about that? What were you studying? Was it Jungian or was it just like a... At the, uh, where the first year, it was just about different parts of the brain. The cortex and oh yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's very interesting how the brain works and how you basically your first three years if they're messed up then you're messed up for life <laughs> so i would be a great psychologist don't you think <laughs> you nailed my problem right there <laughs> that's actually true yeah i mean with me yeah it was oh really the, yeah well, you had a traumatic first three years of your life i can't really remember them yeah. so i'm i'm saying yes yeah uh, <laughs> Well, let's put it this way. I was the youngest person in jail. That is rude. I wasn't in yeah, jail. That so, uh, you getting back to Canada much? Uh, every now and then, you yeah. know, I try to go back to see my family, but most of them, my mom moved back to Sweden. My whole family's in Sweden now, so ah, I go I'd back and... Go to Sweden. Oh, come with me. I'll be at yes, your tour yes guide. Yes, I will. Yes, yeah. I will go to Sweden. <laughs> Um, what and part of Sweden are you from? Stockholm? Stockholm originally, mm -hmm. but now my family lives down in the south. But actually, they're all here. They're in the audience standing at the back. Really? Yeah, my dad and my stepmom and my sisters. Oh, no! yeah. sweet. Here visiting. Yeah. Oh, do you guys have Thanksgiving? <laughs> no, we just. No, because, because you didn't leave to come here to. No, I didn't. We don't. We just say thanks and you we have, give. You have Canadian all Thanksgiving. We do, but that's in October. Yeah, no, Which it's just because, uh, oh, we're going to go ahead of the American day. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have ours first. We have to be ahead in one, one way. No, in right? many ways, Canada is ahead. The whole, you know, politeness. Yeah. <laughs> is that a, a head thing? Can't that, just, uh, just, can't that just be like a thing? Well, politeness? Yeah. yeah. I like politeness. Yeah. I'm all for it. Okay, good. I think it's, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's... <laughs> it's yep. polite. Yeah, it's polite. <laughs> it's nice. I'm, I'm polite. Are you polite in your life? I'm pretty polite, yeah. I, I have massive road rage, though. Really? Yeah, yeah. I get it all out on the road. Do you actually, like, yell at people? Yeah, and, but they and... can't hear me, obviously. But it feels good. <laughs> but they can see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm the crazy woman, you know. I'm sure that they're... Do you make gestures? Yep. A lot. You, you yep. be careful yeah, with that. People be get really angry if you give them the gesture. I know. They get really violent. Yeah. And then they gesture back, and then you almost... I mean, it's... I, I've, I'm have i slowing down on that since I had You know what son. I try to do to stop getting angry? What? Is uh, pretend it's a video game. Really? Yeah, okay. driving around L.A. It's called... Uh, I call it Grand Theft Auto. Okay. And, <laughs> and I drive around L.A., and I, like... Oh, oh there's another thing. And, oh, uh, uh, oh there's... <laughs> That's a good oh, idea. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> It okay. kind of helps me a little bit. Okay, well, maybe I'll try it. But what yeah. do you do when people stop in the middle of the street when they're going to make a left turn, but there's no left turn lane, but they just decide to stop without putting their blinker on? Don't you want to get out and kill them? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I can't read their mind. I don't know they're going left. It just feels like they're stopped in the middle of the street. <laughs> Why'd you move away? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You know, I'm not stuck to this chair. I can just get up and come over there. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, 
Um, no, I get very angry at it, but I try not to, to do it because there's so many crazy people around. But I you know. mustn't, especially if you're a right. woman driving alone in the car. You mustn't get involved in all that. There's, there's lunatics in LA. I know. Is it, look. I, <laughs> oh, yeah. How do you think these people got here? They drove. They look crazy. Slowly, convinced. I probably yelled at some of you guys, and I'm, I apologize. No, you, you've got to stop with the road rage. You yeah. can ruin a whole life with 30 seconds of justified anger. You know, I got out and yelled at someone. You got out? Yep. The, don't I get did. out of the car! What's wrong with you? I got out of the car. No! Yeah, yeah, he, he was going into the gas station and didn't put his blinker on, and I almost crashed into him, and I was so mad. So I pulled in, and he got out of his car, and I said some obscenities to him, and... You're lucky. Yeah, I was lucky. Do you know I did once? Did you? You got out and yelled at someone, too? I had just come from the first meeting with a lawyer about my divorce years oh, and years ago. Fun. So I was in a pretty unpleasant mood and I just found out about California divorce law and oh, yeah. Yeah. so you lost all your uh, everything, everything. Yep. and everything I was gonna have Great. for five years and I was like oh my so I'm driving in the car enjoying the last time I would be able to afford it and I was going up Hollywood Boulevard and there was a lot of bad traffic and this guy in a skateboard, you know one of these 45-year-old guys on skateboards? You know, yeah. you love them. Yeah. Uh, he gets out and he stopped in front of the car and so I stopped. He went, hey! And on the front of my car. And I went, damn it, that's enough. And I get out and he sees me get out of the car and he starts to run up one of the side streets. And I went, no! And I ran <laughs> after him and he's on a skateboard. And I, I run, and I'm like, what are you doing? I don't care. And I run up behind him. And he's got a skateboard, but he's kind of fallen. And I grab him and I push him up against the wall. And he goes, No, I, I'm sorry, mate. I don't know. I'm English. I'm English. And I went, That's not gonna. Uh oh. Help me! <laughs> this is a true story. It's a true story. And so, what did you do? And as he heard me, because I, the last thing. Uh, an Englishman expects on Hollywood Boulevard is to be an angry Glaswegian. <laughs> so he's like, uh, and I suddenly saw the, uh, what I was doing and I said, I'm sorry, I've had a very difficult day. And then as I was going away, right, uh, I was going away and went, no, it's all so, so right, it's so all right. And I went, I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I just lost my temper. Please, uh, let's walk away from this. He's like, okay. And as I get away from him, he gets on his skateboard and he said, yeah, if I catch you, I'll ooh la la. You have. <laughs> I was like, ah! Oh my God. Yeah, I know. So don't get out of the car. No, no. I won't ever do that again. Thanks for the advice. Well, well it's never a good idea. You know, I got mugged before, but I got the guy and I got my wallet back. What? Yeah. You get mugged in LA? No, in Spain. Oh, well, then don't go there. Okay. <laughs> so basically, just stay in my house and lock the doors. Yeah. And maybe come here sometimes. Limited, uh, Limited engagement, oh, but yeah. yeah. I know. I'm so sad about that. I... I'm gonna... You're not. <laughs> oh, I'm I am. distraught. <laughs> Everything's fine. Good. Okay. Um, uh, we're out of time. Oh, okay. That's sad. Well, you know. Or maybe you're maybe. happy about it? Um, no, I, I'm distraught that we're out of time. Me too. But I think we should see other people. <sighs> okay. All right. I'm cool that way. That's fine. Really? Yeah. God, I love fine. Scandinavians. Don't you love Scandinavians? <laughs> Melanie Ackerman, everybody, we were right